Schools have very large fuel bills typically for both gas and electricity as well and therefore do lead to quite a high amount of, of carbon emissions. We've benefited massively, it's been a, a really, really big project. We came down to site, surveyed, looked for uh, as many carbon saving measures we could find. It was uh, quite a challenging build to say the least because we had to fit a lot of equipment in, uh, not a lot of space. Because it's electric, it can use renewable electrical energy. Schools had three air source heat pumps, a massive upgrade on our uh, boiler plant, full new building management system. We've had new air handling units, new PVC windows, air source heat pumps, solar PV. We also installed a large battery in the car park that harnesses the surplus power from the solar PV. The biggest thing we've had to put in is in the uh, storeroom here. We've got 9,000 litres of storage of hot water. Uh, that acts as a thermal battery, so the heat pumps always run. They charge up the battery and when they need heat, the batteries are depleted and then the heat pump then charges it back up again. We really strongly believe as a school that there really needs to be some urgent action to reduce the amount of carbon we're putting into the atmosphere. These fossil fuels which are damaging our environments. If we don't start changing now, we will probably never. If we try to reduce that little by little, our world will be probably fine for the rest of our generations. There's so much a school can do in terms of recycling, in terms of increasing the biodiversity of the school site. So we've got you know, a forest school area, for example, at the school and a, and a small farm. Um, and there's, you know, even if the school doesn't have those sorts of facilities, there might be the potential there to increase biodiversity, certainly. It's important to make changes to the environment. The like small changes, these two big changes, it protects all the wildlife and all the pollution, it can get reduced and after a long time we could completely remove it from our world. 